Yes, I spoke with Jose Rubio, the deputy executive director for Dream Action Oklahoma, a local group that works to empower immigrant communities here. He says the announcement has provided a lot of hope for many dreamers. There's definitely not as much worry as there was with the previous administration. That's because former President Donald Trump and his team moved in the program completely before the Supreme Court blocked them from doing so. When their plan failed, they came up with restrictions that were later ruled invalid. One of the things that the, he was attempting to change and even change for some people uh, was, like you said, you had to apply every year instead of every two years. He also wanted to increase the fee from 500 to, I think, almost 800. As a DACA recipient himself, who came here with his parents and sister at just three, he's made it his life's work to help other dreamers, assisting with applications and financial resources. Happy to hear President Joe Biden is prioritizing immigration. So it gives a lot of relief to immigrants that he is actually going to hopefully right, push for better laws and, and provide more protections for DACA recipients, but also going above those DACA recipients because I mean, the last estimate I think was like there was like 600 to 700,000 DACA recipients, but over 11 million undocumented uh, people living in the United States. Seeing firsthand what deportation has done to several local families, he's optimistic Biden's planned executive action will lead to less worry. It destroys families. It, takes away parents from their kids. Portia Riley, KOCO 5 News.